Hi Scorpio, welcome to your daily love reading. My name is Pretty, and I'll be doing your love reading today. So before we begin with your love reading, Scorpio, please do remember to take what resonates and to leave behind whatever does not. Okay, so let's begin with your love reading, Scorpio. Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, we have the Six of Swords in the reverse. And this is Air Energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius Energy. So in the reverse, this is a card of someone who is returning to a situation that they previously tried to leave behind. Um, this is someone who felt they needed peace. They felt they needed to move towards calmer water because the situation was becoming too turbulent for them. There was too much drama or there was chaos. Or there was just some sort of conflict that they were trying to avoid. And they're ready to address it now. They're ready to, you know, kind of not run away from the problem and work it out. Um, they are viewing it as something that's fixable or work throughable. Like they feel like this is this this connection is worth um, trying for. So let's see what the rest of the cards have to say. We have the world in the reverse, fixed sign energy, the six of wands, fire energy, and the death card, Scorpio energy. Yeah, it does look like there was an ending, you know, with the death card being here, they tried to transition and move on, but they couldn't do it. You know, this is someone who there's a strong tie here. There's even a, a possibly a bit of an obsessive energy when it comes to this connection. Like they can't ignore their feelings when it comes to this like they're very tied to you um and they feel unfinished business with the world card in the reverse they're not ready to let this end um and there's still this feeling of adjustments can be made they still feel like there's hope for a victory they feel like um they would be doing themselves and you a disservice if they gave up now so this is someone who's ready to to keep trying okay so let's clarify these cards scorpio Okay, we have the Magician, Mercury Energy, Virgo, Gemini Energy. This person really, they see you as one of a kind. You know, with the Six of Wands, there's something unique and special about you that they do recognize that they can't find elsewhere. You know, and it looks like they actually tried, but they were not able to kind of find someone who makes them feel the way you do. You know, it's, you're being seen as irreplaceable in this person's eyes. Like, this is someone who's really trying to manifest a new beginning with you. And um, they, they they simply don't want to move on. Like, they, they want to keep trying here. They're going to even try to impress you with the magician. It's like they want to win you over. They want to, um, you know, put their best foot forward here. Somehow they're trying to manifest that new start with you. So let's see. We have the Knight of Pentacles, Earth Energy. The Eight of Wands, Fire Energy, and the Queen of Pentacles, Earth Energy. Yeah, this person is viewing you as someone who was really good to them. Like, there's a grounded energy here. There's also an energy of you having certain qualities that they really value, like they respect. And um, they are seeing that people like you don't come by often. There's something about you being special, you know, with that Six of Wands. Um, they feel like they were actually quite lucky to have someone like you in the first place. So they are kind of regretting even having thought about leaving you behind or moving on from you because this is someone who feels like no matter what it takes they're going to keep trying you know with the knight of pentacles it may take a long time it may take a lot of effort um they're going to keep trying you know this is someone who knows what they want you could get a lot of communication from this person with the eight of wands um they they do want to speak their truth to you um and they are seeing you as someone that they are willing to humble themselves in order to be with because this is someone who's trying to manifest a new start with you they want this rebirth with you okay so i'm going to pull out an oracle card for you scorpio
Okay, we have a personal issue reaches resolution full moon in cancer so this person still has feelings for you they still feel like things can be resolved and um they're hoping you meet them halfway this person it, it is um almost like a soul tie here something by the emotions like there's an attachment okay so i'm gonna pull out another card for you Okay, we have calling in your soulmate. Your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. So they're trying to manifest you. They think you're their soulmate. But the magician, they, they, they're using some, they're trying to actually like um, call you back in or re-attract you is what we're seeing here. Okay, so I'm going to put another card for you, Scorpio. Okay, we have youthful love if i had a single flower for every time i think of you i could walk forever in my garden okay so yeah there's a bit of an obsessive energy here like you, this person can't get over you they think about you all the time um they're very infatuated by you and they're very stuck on you very focused on you and like they have eyes for no one else you know it's like um yeah this person is obsessing here Okay, so I'm going to pull out a card for your advice, Scorpio. Okay, we have surrendered to your soul's path. Your life's journey has been perfectly designed for your soul's growth. Embrace every lesson and every moment. So there is some message here about you doing what's best for you. There's a lot of growth and transformation that may have resulted from this connection specifically. Okay, so that's what I am seeing for you, Scorpio. I hope you have a really, really good day, Scorpio. Bye, Scorpio.